Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean your lashes. That way you can go from this to this. As you guys can tell, it is a big difference and this video has been highly requested. So today we are finally here to show you how to go from this to this and get your lash looking like if it were a brand new lash. So stay tuned. Alright, so you're going to need some paper towels. You're going to need a small bowl or some type of container. You are also going to need some rubbing alcohol. You will also need a toothbrush. Make sure it's a new one or one that you have never used in your mouth or anywhere else. Some Q-tips, some tweezers, and of course lashes. I'm going to be using my K-lashes in the style Camila. This is where I always store them. In this box, we're going to need at the end. But if you don't have one, you can use one of these. I got one from the Dollar Tree. All right, so what you're going to want to do is take them out of the box. Set them down where it is where you're going to be working. If it wants to come off, <laughs> um, put the box to the side. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the glue that is currently on the lash, as you guys can see. That is some of the leftover glue from where I took them off. So what you're going to want to do is grab the lash firmly at the, at the base of the lash. That way we are able to pull off the glue and we are not pulling off any hairs or we are not damaging the lash. So make sure you are super careful with this as you don't want to pull off anything that you're not supposed to other than the glue. So this is how it looks after you have removed all the glue from the band. And this is the one that still has the glue. So the one on the right is the one that still has the glue and the one on the left doesn't have glue. So you want to grab your paper towels, you want to grab your bowl, and also your rubbing alcohol. We are going to be pouring some of that rubbing alcohol inside of the bowl, as that is where we're going to be dipping the Q-tip and the toothbrush. So the next step is removing the mascara and any oils off the lash because it can make them look clumpy and nasty. So you want to dip that Q-tip inside the rubbing alcohol, and you want to gently rub away the mascara. Now, oop, if I can make up my mind how focused I want it to be okay there you go so you want to gently rub away the mascara I like using rubbing alcohol because it dries much quicker but if you feel more comfortable you can also use some warm water I personally prefer using the rubbing alcohol and you can continue to do this as many times as needed and make sure you do it in different spots in the paper towel now you want to go ahead and grab your toothbrush, dip it in the rubbing alcohol, and this step is very important. I like to go in between the lash and make sure the hairs are nicely separated. And also whatever we missed with the Q-tip, we're able to get with the toothbrush. Now this is perfect for mink lashes because you can get your maximum wear out of them since they are more pricey than the regular synthetic lashes. So you want to go ahead and do this until you are satisfied. And this is how it looks before, and this is how it looks after. It is a huge difference. Just look at that. That one is clumpy, nasty. It looks like a completely different lash versus the other one. So you want to go ahead and grab the box where the lashes came from. You're going to set them back to how they were. That way they can get that shape back again. If you don't have the box, you can use um, the container that I'm going to show you shortly. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.